Hello, and welcome to the latest RSpace inventory update. In this update, we focused on improving the integration between the ELN and inventory modules, with a focus on enhancing traceability and reproducibility. Let's get started with the new feature which allows you to create lists of items called baskets. Baskets allow you to easily manage your samples. First, select the samples you choose to add, then Click on the three dots and select Add to Basket. You can choose a custom name for your basket and you can always edit this later. Once you've done this, at the top you'll see a basket section. Click on it and you'll be able to access all existing baskets and the samples contained within. From here, you can edit the name of your basket and even choose to delete it. When deleting a basket, the samples or items that were originally contained will not be affected. We've upgraded Inventory's interface to allow you to navigate sample details with ease. Now you can expand a section or expand all sections and collapse a section or collapse all sections when viewing item details. We have also improved the list of materials, with a focus on enhancing traceability and reproducibility. On any RSpace ELN document, you can add a list of materials and thus associate items in the inventory module with any documents that you're creating in the ELN. Here, I've selected two samples. I select Choose and then Save. This will create a new list of materials associated with this document. To support further traceability, now when looking at item details, you can click on Info and Show Link Documents to see a list of all lists of materials that this item is associated with. You can view this separately for each item. When navigating to the bottom of any document in the ELN, you can click the Inventory Items button to see a list of all items associated with that document. Clicking on any of the items will take you to the relevant page in Inventory where you can view item details and modify. To further support traceability, when you associate a sample with an experiment or document, then an audit item will be generated. To quickly demo this, I'll add subsample B to this list of materials. I click on Add Items, select the sample I wish to add, hit Choose, and hit Save. It's now added to the list of materials. I can view this in the Audit section by going to My R Space. In this section, I have many options and I'll choose Auditing by clicking on the arrow. In this section, I'll hit Get Audit Report and this will generate an audit report where one of the new entries will contain the global document ID and a description containing information about the sample that was associated with the experiment. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out the Inventory Hub for more details on how to use the latest features.